Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster Alpha 3, still working on our Marvel Cinematic Universe Park. Oh man. And I made a decision, I decided that I did not like the walls around the area. As you can see, I deleted them around the Hulk area and the Iron Man area just because I, I just think they don't look very good. But I did realize something, it was kind of a, I don't know, an effect created by these walls is I like building with the walls. Because when you build with the walls, it forces you to contain everything in a specific area. So even when you go out and look at the other areas, like when you zoom out, you can still see the distinctive areas between the Iron Man and the Hulk, just because I forced myself to build in these small areas. So what I'm doing here is I built a wall around this, uh, approximately where I want the Captain America, uh, I can't talk today, the Captain America area to fill up. Uh, so we just build the wall for now and we'll eventually just delete it. But it is a nice little experiment that I found that it helps me to, uh, to keep everything nice and contained. And so the first thing we're building in the Captain America area is a uh, mid 20th century American Main Street, like 1940s. I went and tried to look up some pictures from New York in the 40s and stuff, and I'm just gonna make a very tight and narrow Main Street with some, a uh, couple different buildings, four to three to four stories, things like that. And uh, I probably should have toned it down on the colors. Uh, they tend to be really drab and gray and brown and beige and things like that, but I really wanted to, uh, just make them a little bit more exciting, so I went a little overboard with some of the colors here, so it's a little bit too colorful than it should be, but again, we're building in a theme park and stuff, it should be a little bit of fun. Uh, basically what I'm doing is just going to be building the facades. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to build the back of these buildings or not, because I th initially thought I was just going to do the, f the, the fronts, just because that's all people are going to see, but we end up uh, filling in the entire building. Uh, just because we put it on both sides and people may see the back of it. In fact, if they, once they ride on the coaster, they will see the back of it because the coaster is located uh, behind this building. Uh, so I had a couple different ideas for what I wanted to do. Uh, they tend to have these sort of overhangs in the top level, so I was trying a couple different ideas of uh, things to do to make that uh, stick out a little bit more. Oh, and I know I wanted a sidewalk out front, so we took this and just sunk it down just, just low enough so it was barely sticking out. And we eventually uh, pushed the sidewalk and have it kind of go over the whole street, which I may actually undo because I... A, it kind of looks like it's all one sidewalk instead of having the actual street in there now because right now with the asphalt it actually does look like a street so we may change that <laughs> and I remember this I was really confused because I was trying to change the color of the rough brick uh, for like a good couple minutes like why wouldn't it let me do that I thought I selected some other pieces and stuff and I was like oh yeah you can't change the color of rough brick that's right oh well so yeah that one oh well yeah so the brick on the the far left and the far right and then the rough brick on the center you can't actually change the color of uh, the limestone plaster, which I was using on the middle two pieces, the gray and the red there, those you can change the color of. So I really wish you could change the color of the brick, because I like the brick texture and the rough brick texture. Uh, but especially on the orange brick one on the left and the right, it's a little bit too orange for me. I wish it was a little bit more subdued, but uh, that's okay. Hopefully that's something they'll add in the future. And then we can change the color of everything else, just not that. And then we're just filling in some more stuff, just trying to make a nice variation of the windows, things like that. Just trying to make it feel like every building's more unique. We do the basically the, top, the same thing for the top area on every single one, but beyond that we do kind of uh, vary it a little bit, trying out some different windows and stuff. And again, I'm trying to build in le not really modern design, but more of a contemporary for this time period, so the 1940s, 1950s, stuff like that. So we're, we're trying to build this like in a World War II era. So it's a little bit tough to do because all we have are like the modern pieces and then like the fairy tale pieces. So uh, some of the windows don't really look super good. Uh, the real modern ones on the center building look all right, and then the far left ones look decent. But these little shuttered ones with the windows, especially the doors. Doors do not look very good. We don't really have any contemporary doors. All we have are like the medieval stone ones, and then we have one modern door, but it's like white and blue, and you can't change the colors, and it just doesn't look very good. So we just kind of went with these doors. Uh, this one I was trying to make it look like there was like a a shop window or just a shop on the ground floor. and So that's why we put the glass going on the bottom there. It came out pretty cool looking. And then we're adding some nice little planters all along the windows. Trying to make it look real nice and pretty. I was like, okay, that's looking pretty decent. So we got five buildings. That's not too bad. And then we're just adding some of these uh, supports on the edges. Trying to break up the patterns. Okay, we might as well uh, complete these buildings. So I don't think we did that quite yet. At some point we do. Yeah, because basically we're just going to take it and flip it over. Uh, we tried a couple different things. Because uh, initially I make them two separate buildings. And I'm like, wait, we should probably make them one building. Well, that was actually after this. But first I'm just trying to change up the colors and design a little bit. So they look a little bit more distinctive. 
And I was going to move that real close to the uh, the coaster right there, just trying to make it nice and dense. And then just filling that. And see that? I'm not. I don't know about that because now it all looks like the same thing. I kind of preferred it when the center was asphalt because it made it look like an actual street. So I'll probably remove the um, our our uh, our sidewalks from the center there, just because I don't think it looks very good. Uh, but now I'm deciding to uh, go ahead and fill in the back of the buildings, despite the fact that I just copied and pasted it from over there. So we're going to have to delete the other side and then copy and paste it back over. Yeah, it wasn't the best uh, process in terms of efficiency, but we got it done. Oh, well. Yep, so there we go. We just delete that and they're okay. Just copy and paste this. Put this back over here. Now let's change the color of these things once again and put the balconies back up. I think the white looks better than the red we had earlier, so all good in the hood. But there we go. And I know some people have expressed interest in things like uh, me doing tutorials on the controls and stuff, because I do a lot of stuff that people aren't 100% sure about, which actually did take me a while to learn, like a while to master. So uh, once we get closer to release to the Planet Coaster uh, open gameplay, well, I guess the full release of the game, maybe probably even the beta I'll probably do some videos on. Um, just going over the control schemes and like tips and tricks. I'm sure I don't want to do it right now just because one not everyone has access to the game right now Especially since the alpha is no longer on sale and two uh, If things are subject to change the game is still an alpha They may actually change some of these control schemes So I don't want to make a tutorial have it go up and then like a year later people watching the tutorial and like wait None of this is working because that's happened before <laughs> One of my uh, I, one of my older videos not like two years old at this point. I've made a video on um, mods for a game called banished and uh, I get comments still like probably every week people talk like yelling at me saying no, no this is right I'm like well like the video is like two years old and these were mods made by like random people that don't really keep up with the mods anymore so everything's subject to change I need to put like a disclaimer on everything I need to get one of those really fast talking guys like you hear in the radio commercials like APR financing 4.0 things like that maybe I can just speed my voice up do you think those guys speed their voices up when they do um like those really fast voiceovers on the radio? I don't know. What am I talking about now? <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, oh, we're playing a video game. Alright, so I decided to put a ferris wheel over here. Enough. I did it again. We do put a ferris wheel later, but first we put a carousel. It's because I'm trying to look for some more uh, contemporary rides and stuff that would fit this period. And they had uh, ferris wheels and carousels and stuff, so I thought they looked kind of nice. So we're going with a real classical uh, decorating style for... Um, Theme parks of the era, just a lot of nice big flowers and bushes. For this battle, it's kind of inspired by the entryway to Disneyland. If you guys have ever been there, and they have the giant flower beds and stuff with the Mickey's made out of the flowers, so eh, they came out looking all right. Just it's a real simple idea. And now I did want to put my first coaster of the, of the, well, I guess it's not the first coaster. I was gonna say the first coaster of the Captain America area, but since it's only gonna be one coaster, it's the only coaster of the Captain America area. And of course, we went with the American era because I mean, come on, it's already red, white, and blue. It's all good. And then for the uh, coaster housing, I was conflicted. So, it doesn't look great because it doesn't really match the coaster because the coaster is red, white, and blue. But for the, for the housing, I wanted to make it some sort of like uh, World War II like military base with this kind of like a large tent structure. And it, it's different than what we've done. You'll, you'll see soon because right now it looks very similar to what we've been doing. It's just like just a cube, the flat roof. But we do mix it up starting now and it looks all right. It, it doesn't look that great to me actually. <laughs> Uh, it definitely does not go well with the uh, red, white, and blue coaster, but once we do the actual setting uh, for this coaster, we're going to make a World War II battlefield right here. It, it's alright looking. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. I know it doesn't really match the red, white, and blue, but oh well. And for the the actual whole landscape here where we build the World War II battlefield, there are going to be people telling me, again, it's not super accurate. Again, not super interested in it. I mean, we're going off of... A fictional universe here so I could argue that this is accurate in this fictional universe but <laughs> I don't want to be that jerk uh, but was, was trying something here since we were right next to the base I was trying to make like a shooting range or something and I don't know I just didn't have any ideas for, for things to use for the pieces like the walls and then the targets and stuff like, okay now we're just gonna scratch that get that out of here try not so different things looking at some of the different pieces and objects Trying to wrap my noodle around this, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And then I decided to make a nice little battlefield. And again, I know trench warfare wasn't as popular as it was in World War One. World War One was a lot more exclusively used. Uh, but we do we do uh they did use it in uh, World War II still. Just not quite as popular. 
are not as frequent. But I decided to set up some battlements, things like that, some bunkers with some cannons and stuff, and just have uh, these two trenches firing at each other. And I considered using the animatronic pirates as the soldiers, but they just looked really dumb. <laughs> I didn't like them. So I decided not to. Uh, we took some of these exploding barrels, kind of put them uh, all around the area, trying to make it look like they're exploding shells, things like that. This part actually comes out pretty cool looking. We do a lot of cool stuff with the uh, landscaping and things like that. I I'm pretty happy with it. And then we have our little uh, trenches here, and I wanted some sort of little boardwalk along the trenches. Just a little bit detailed. Didn't want to go too crazy on here. I mean, could have done the full out trenches and stuff with like the overhangs and the the battlements and the uh, like the crestations or whatever. But I said no. We'll just keep it relatively simple. Don't want to go too crazy here. And then we're putting some uh, just some barricades and stuff out on the battlefield. And I decided uh, we need some mist out in these trenches, make it real misty. So I said, okay, that's pretty cool looking. Adding some rocks all around. And one thing I'm actually particularly proud of is this. Look at that. So that's definitely a feature you still see in parts of like France and stuff today. Like they're completely overgrown like this and they look grassy and everything, but you just see these um, the battlefields where these World War One, World War Two battles took place. There's still these uh, holes all over the place just from the constant shelling and artillery. So it comes out pretty cool looking. I like it. Added some uh, random trees there. I didn't want too many trees in the middle just because that's supposed to be like the no man's land. The demilitarized zone, so I didn't want too much stuff in there. And then I decided, okay, we'll actually fill out the area around it with forest. Make it look all nice and purdy. And I realized, okay, the main street's kind of dark. I love the neon signs, they're really cool. I don't know if they quite fit with this era. How, did they have, I guess they technically had neon signs. Or maybe, maybe a little early for neon signs. I'm going like 1942 or things like that, so. Oh well. And I said, okay, it's a little bit too grassy looking, so we gotta make it all brown and dirty and depressing. Well, I guess not depressing, but it's the battlefield, alright? It's not gonna be like nice, well manicured grass everywhere. Then we're working on the rest of the coaster. Uh, didn't want this one too crazy, more wanted it to just kind of um, zoom around the battlefield. Then we have it go like down to the trench and everything. And yeah, just wanted a nice little coaster. We do try and put a loop in it in the middle. Uh, but I eventually removed that, just because we don't have the speed for it. And I didn't really want to loop in this one. This was going to be more of a... This is an educational coaster, right? It's it's not supposed to be too crazy. So there's a loop we end up removing. Oh, man. Silly loop. There we go. Finished coaster. Doing a little bit of uh, smoothing. Smoothing all. Smoothing the banking. Things like that. And then here I'm watching the coaster. And it's going to go, oh, nope. Oh, no, I got stuck. Silly coaster, pobre coaster. Then I realized, okay, it's losing too much speed there, so I was gonna try and deal with that first, but I said, no, we'll just uh, remove the loop entirely. Uh, this coaster is, I'm conf uh, it's all right. <laughs> For some reason, uh, parts of it got real janky, and it's not something I'm in love with. I mean, again, I'm building in relatively cramped space, so we're having to do a lot of turns and stuff. Uh, there's this weird part where I don't know what happened. I, I just finished it because I got frustrated. You'll see later. Uh, the very first piece leaving the coaster pit got deleted, and then I couldn't get it to match it back up with the uh, rest of the uh, the chain lift. It was very annoying. I don't know what happened. So I just kind of got frustrated and completed it. And then it's got this weird, like, blump, not blump, bump at the beginning. Uh, it looks kind of bad, but uh, we'll see. It. it, it I'll fix it later. I just was very frustrated because I had been working on this for like three or four hours at this point. I was like, okay, I just want to be done with it. So, again, when I do like the detailing stuff and go back and spend a couple hours just fixing the park before uh, we do like the final tour and stuff, I'll definitely uh, fix a lot of these things. Yeah, but the coaster area is basically done. We probably had some more trees and stuff throughout there, but now I wanted to just add a nice little Ferris wheel over here. And I do eventually change the color of the Ferris wheel and the merry-go-round. I think I did off camera, but you'll see the Ferris wheel in the final walkthrough. And I did change the color of that. I don't think I showed changing the color of the uh, carousel. No, I showed the car I showed the carousel, not the Ferris wheel. That's right. I think something like that. But again, just going with the very traditional layout. Just nice flowers everywhere. Realizing people are dumping trash all over my Captain America section, so we need some benches and trash cans, things like that. Adding some street lights all throughout the main area. There we go. And I didn't really want to add any lights uh, on the on the queue. See, look, it's got... I don't know what happened with it. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. 
Like, I don't know where it went, and then it wouldn't let me reattach it. It would let me attach it with a regular track, but not a chain lift track. So I'm like, okay, this is really stupid and annoying. So, there you go. You see that weird little bump? I was like, okay, whatever. Good enough. Count it. I'll, I'll get over it. There we go. We changed the color of the Ferris wheel, so I do change the color of the uh, carousel later. There we go. Walk out to the Captain America area. Our uh, 1940s Main Street. Uh, King Coaster there. He's, he's dancing around. I love me some King Coaster, but came out pretty cool looking. I'm really liking it. This this is definitely a lot more of my wheelhouse, building things like this rather than just the, the crisp modern look. I love the higher detailed areas. I could go a lot more detail in this. Um, Again, I just was trying to keep it a little simpler. Just trying to stop myself from overly detailing things. I, I just don't want to overdo it, right? It's all it's in it's all good in moderation. <laughs> There's a carousel. She so changed the colors to red, white, and blue. Looks real nice. Nice little setting for it. And then we ride uh, the Captain America coaster. You need a name for this. Oh, I picked names for the other ones. Um, the Iron Man one someone suggested was Test Flight. That was a good one. And then uh, the Hulk one was um. Oh my God, I can't remember it. I picked someone. Oh my god, I picked someone's. I just can't remember it. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, well, hopefully I'll remember to tell you guys in the next video. I gotta go look it up again. Gotta go sift through all the comments. But anyway, guys, that will be it for this episode of Planet Coaster. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Or leave a comment. Or leave something to let me know. Or just or just say hi. Just say hi, C Top, how are you? And I'll say, I'm good, how are you? And you'll say, That wasn't a very detailed response. I don't think you actually care. And I'll say, I do. I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to stall to get to the end of the coast. Whoop, little loop there. Oh, I forgot to bank this upcoming part. I totally meant to bank this. Sorry. I will do that off camera. Once again. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.